The first ever expansion since 1989. This is the newest station in the New York City subway. Actually, the 469th. Opening today, September 13th. Yes. And it's currently 117. That's the escalator down. I guess we can take it. Yep. Wait, why are there two tunnels? Because the London Underground is so deep, even though I've never really been to it. I heard it's deep. It's like 250, uh, 250 feet or 250 meters. I don't remember exact uh, the exact uh, conversion. But this, tu this tunnel just makes you dizzy sometimes. Yeah. Because back then when I was young, I didn't feel anything. So I'm actually used to the Is that a fire alarm? That's a fire alarm. That is that is a random fire alarm. And I hope you put some music up on those speakers. Nope. Oh, they're gonna do. Oh, there's another random fire alarm. They're gonna be putting automated announcements through these speakers, or I think soon the countdown clock announcements. All right, folks, we're about to reach the platform of the new 34th Street Hudson Station. It's another tunnel. Oh, they're on the go travel stations right there. Oh, that was so weird. That was so weird. The way that the, the, the escalator tunnel just went down and you have the straight board tunnel now. Yes, the help point. Wow, this this reminds me of the IND. Oh, there's there's another entrance right there. I think. I, I think. I'm not sure. If you were wondering about the Javits Center, Javits Center welcomes the Seven Line to the neighborhood. As wow. Part of the Seven Extension. Hudson Yard Station, connected by the Javits Center and the far west side to AT Subway Lines. Justin! Oh yeah, one of the selling points of this station is actually the High Line because uh, uh, a lot of people were actually going back to get on the subway. Now they can go to 34th Street and get on the 7th. Yes it is. And there's, and there's the elevator right there. Sadly these countdown clocks don't work yet and this looks like it's been recycled. It doesn't really look new, because the lights aren't really bright. Not really bright. If I were you, I would take the number seven on the first car. Oh, there's the R188 right there. Let's go down. It's so quiet. Can you tell? Is it is that the new set? Or an R Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Actually no. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna film it. Hold on. Can you hold this here? Let's fill up. Let's film the whole stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please use all available doors on the main street and outside the local train.
continue exploring. This certainly has a lot brighter lights than all the other stations. And these lighting fixtures are interesting. They're not your standard naked light bulbs that you will commonly see on uh, most subway stops. Looks like these are plastic. These are not metal. Uh, here are the braille plates. Track one. You got 34 written on the walls. It's a brand new updated subway map. Oh, next train. Next train. Oh, here's the new um, planned service changes board and subway map. I used to use the train and bus system, which was a terrible because you had to wait for that M3434 Street bus and it took forever. Yeah. And a lot of times I would walk all the way over. To That's what thing. I did. So, but, but then I'd be all sweated up by the time mm -hmm. I got to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took this. I'll get a couple more. Mm -hmm. um, which way are we going? I want to go with those guys. Uh, uh, there's a standard New Yorker right there. Looking over the shoulder, over the platform edge, waiting for the next. Seven train to arrive. <laughs> Your typical New Yorker. Well, there's actually a train coming in on this track. It's another R188. And there's a train coming in on that track as well. So, which one's gonna be here first? Let's watch both of them arrive at the same time. Or maybe there's a cross over there. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Main Street bound seven local train will arrive on to the track. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new 34th Street Hudson Yard Station. Thank you for riding with MTA New York City Transit. You're welcome. <laughs> 